Well, as we continue to celebrate Black History Month, one performing arts center in Brooklyn is putting on their jazzy shoes to give us an uplifting show. Yes, please. Thelma Hill Performing Arts Center is back to present its second mm -hmm. Black History Month program at the Baptist Church of NYC. And lucky for us, we're going to get a little sneak peek today. I know. We got a little sneak peek just before. But before that, we are getting put to the test when it comes to dance. Excuse Join me. That's right. Joining us this morning is Thelma's executive chairman, Alex Smith, Jr. Welcome to New York Living, sir. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Well, you knew you were going to be on television, but I suspect you always dress this dapper. Well, once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> so I asked him, I said, are you a dancer? And what was your response? Only club dance. Oh, yeah. Same. It counts. It counts. It, it does counts. count. It counts. It's, a, it's, it counts. A form, it's an expression of That's sorts. Right. That's right. Okay. Uh, it is Black History Month. How has that changed the world of art? Well, it has changed the world of art in that, the da in, in far as dance goes, yeah. black dance goes, it's been very instrumental in giving it a new verb and taking us to a new level. Yeah. Yes. But it has not, this is not new. African American no. dance has been around since the time before time. Yes, of course. And how, what is your experience with seeing that evolution and also that staying power? Because we've seen plenty of different genres come and go, but this, this has been around for forever. Yes, since uh, pre-slavery Africa, mm -hmm. but as far as Thelma Hill Performing Arts Center goes, we're 48 years old. Mm. So we've seen a lot of changes within the dance culture, mm -hmm. especially modern dance. We started with Chuck Davis, and we went on to what we have now, Urban Bush Women, and Kyle Abraham, Camille Brown. Mm -hmm. They are the new, the new generation. Good. We need, we need new, new, new ideas. Moving forward, baby. He's yes. going to put us to the test. I can't believe this. You have some trivia questions for us. Yes, I do. Oh, boy. I hope your expectations are low because I'm not good at trivia. This is a pop quiz. I know. Oh, you'll or... be fine. Yeah. <laughs> you'll be fine. All right, sir. Please, without any further ado. Question one. Who appeared in the movie Damn Yankees and later became a famous choreographer? A, Gregory Hines, B, Lewis Johnson, C, Arthur Mitchell, D, Tally Beatty. Oof. A seems too obvious. I'm I wanted gonna, to go with C. I'm gonna go with D. Pick one. Oh, we have to be in Oh, we have, in, to, can, we, we have to be in We'll go with C. Okay. Good choice, but no, the <laughs> answer is B, Lewis Johnson. Lewis Johnson. Okay, and Lewis, Lewis, Lewis Johnson, give us, give Lewis us a quick Lewis Johnson was a famous choreographer, probably most famous for, even though he's done m many works, for his, the choreography for the film, The Wiz. <gasps> We which just is had, coming back to Broadway. Yes, which is coming back to Broadway. Oh my All right, God. Let's, let's make up now for we know. question two. Let's sir. see how we do Question here. two, who was the first black choreographer to win a Tony Award for choreography? A, Marlies Yerby, B, Savon Glover, C, Camille A. Brown, or D, George Faison? Now, I don't know if Savion actually did the choreography. He danced, but I don't think he was a choreographer. What should we go with? Always go with C. Let's do C. We're going to go C again. Good answer, but wrong. <laughs> good answer, but wrong. <laughs> I love that he good answer, though. <laughs> who was it? The answer is George Faison, oh, who won the Tony Award for choreography for the Broadway production of The Wiz. Oh, I see a trend here. All right, third question. Third question. Which Alvin Ailey Company member holds the record for the longest tenure in the company? A. Dudley Williams, B, Thelma Hill, C, Loretta Abbott, or D, Judith Jameson? We're gonna go with Thelma, Thelma Hill. Hill. Oh, is it Judith Jameson? Oh, shit. No, the correct answer <laughs> is Dudley Williams. We was... were wrong all across the board. You know what, Th this has gone tragic for us. Good thing you brought your dancers, because yes. that's what we want to yeah. see. Well, let me give you the correct answer. Please. Please. Dudley Williams. Yes. Dudley he Williams. was with the company for 40 years. Fantastic. Tell us about the performance we're about to see. The performance you're about to see, you're going to get a glimpse of one of the performances that will be presented at Central Baptist Church on this coming Saturday. This coming Saturday. Fantastic. Well, without any further ado, shall we? To our performers. 
I just want to do God's will. And he's allowed me to go up to the mountain. And I've looked over, and I've seen the promised land. Come on. Nazar Swift. And you are? Danny Lynn King. You're out of breath, and here I come with a <laughs> yeah, big old well, stick You're making mic. them talk right now. Uh, what can you tell us about where we, where, you know what? You catch your breath. Yes. <laughs> tell us again where the performance is. The performance is at Central Baptist Church on 92nd Street and Broadway in Manhattan on this Saturday at 4 p.m. And tickets are still available. 